uh, hello everyone in this uh, tutorial we'll talk about the concept of random walk and uh, probability distribution so I'll begin with the example of a small dust particle uh, which is uh, in your room maybe and then there is no drift of air in the room so now suppose uh, at uh, time of observation when you start to observe that particle uh, that particle was uh, somewhat uh, lying here so if you wait uh, for that particle uh, and you keep watching that particle so you will see that particle will either move uh, after some time uh, from here to here and then uh, again after some time it will move from here to here and then uh, it will move from here to here to here and then it will keep moving in different random directions right so this is what we call the random walk we call it random walk because uh, there is no uh, particular uh, position where the particle would like to go so it can just uh, move uh, independent of its previous position right so because the particle has no attraction for the walls particle doesn't have any airflow uh, going uh, in the room so so it's completely free and completely random so this is uh, what the concept of random walk is so now uh, why uh, how does you relate probability distribution to it so now suppose um, if you just saw the particle and now uh, somebody asks you so where should I find that particle and you can say the probability of finding the particle is at this position so you will say that okay uh, it's very high probability of finding this particle so, so this, this is the probability and this is the uh, x uh, uh, position uh, like we are talking about the one dimensional position so we'll say that the probability is uh, very high uh, or, or it's absolutely one at this position because we know that uh, the particle has to be at that position because we, we just observe it right but uh, after some time when it reaches this uh, position then we'll say where the particle uh, should be so you'll say that okay the probability is very high to be at this position however uh, it must have taken one step or it must have moved in one direction but that direction could be anywhere it could be uh, on this side or it could be on this side it could be on this side so it can be could have moved anywhere out of these position all the positions right so in that case uh, what I have to do is uh, I would need to draw the probability and uh, what I'll say is that uh, the particle has moved uh, but so in that case what I would say is that the particle has moved and uh, it is likely that the particle will be uh, in this position so let me redraw this so it should be drawn a little bit smaller so however after time t when we talk about where should we find the particle so so in so this is a small time in which you think that the particle has moved almost one uh, step then we'll say that particle could be found anywhere uh, near its initial position right so in that case the probability will uh, to find that particle uh, will be anywhere uh, around its initial position so it will more look like this so this is the probability and this is our x right however when you take taken the two steps then there are many many possibilities like it could have gone in one direction and then it's possible that it moves back to its initial position or some position near the initial position or it could have moved uh, further away from its initial position and gone further far or that particle uh, uh, has taken uh, one step and then took uh, something perpendicular and stay almost at the same distance from the uh, center but it would have on the first step so in that case 
the probability uh, distribution will look something different so the probability of finding the particle at the center will be little higher and at the first step it will be little lower uh, so but now it can also because most of the time the particle can also move back in the direction and then finding it uh, farther away will further decrease so the probability of finding it farther away will further decrease and then probability of finding it most very away is very very low this is how the probability will look like but if we keep drawing uh, these uh, more steps and more steps then finally our probability will look something like this uh, in which the particle has taken a lot of steps but because it's a random walk the probability of finding the particle still at the center is very high uh, because the particle can always move back but the as you go away uh, from the initial position the probability of finding that particle will keep decreasing and ultimately if we go to time uh, is equal to infinity then the particle could be almost everywhere so the distribution in that case will be totally random so the particle could be anywhere after infinity time so this is how the probability distribution correlates with the random walk so this is our t which is our time so uh, we have uh, on this uh, uh, channel uh, also the simulation of the random walk of the particles and uh, if you check them out you will be able to further understand this concept of random walk and probability distribution so i'll uh, see you again in the next tutorial uh, until then thank you and bye bye